this demonstration, you'll learn how to clean and repair geometry models in Design Modeler. First, start by going to the Tools menu, then selecting Repair and Repair Seams. The values in the Details view are pre-populated based on the model's parameters. The suggested width represents the maximum gap that Design Modeler will identify to be zipped. The circle on the cursor also indicates the gap size is a visual aid for the user. To find the seams, set the Find Faults Now property to Yes. It will automatically search the model and locates the candidates for repair seams. It locates one area and tells us the width of the area in need of repair. It will suggest a repair method, which by default is automatic. By clicking on the seam that was located, you can zoom in. In instances where there are multiple faults identified, you can click on each respective candidate to zoom in on it. Now click Generate. You can see that the seam has been repaired. In the Details view, click on the candidate again, and it will zoom in on the area where the seam has been healed. Next, we'll repair holes in the model. In the View menu, turn on the Shaded Exterior and Edges. In the Tools menu, go to Repair and then Repair Holes. In the Details view, the minimum and maximum hole sizes can be set so that it will only detect holes of certain sizes to repair. Since we have no preference for the hole sizes, we will select Find Faults Now. Three holes have been located, and they can also be selected separately, as the seams were. The repair method recommended is a surface patch. Click Generate to cap the holes. Next, select Repair Sharp Angles from the Tools menu. A sharp angle is identified as a tangent condition between edges. Sharp angles can create difficulties downstream for tasks such as meshing. For this example, we'll use a default maximum of 20 degrees. Five sharp angles are found. Now, click Generate to repair the sharp angles. We'll repair any slivers found in the model. A sliver is defined as a face that has a very large aspect ratio. That is, its perimeter is very large when compared to its area. In the Tools menu, select Repair, Repair Slivers. Slivers are identified by their width. Use the default values suggested by Design Modeler and search for faults. The repair method is automatically chosen. Now, click Generate and repair the slivers. Now, we'll look at repairing hard edges. These are defined as either an edge that is freestanding or dangling, meaning it is only connected on one side. Two hard edges are found, and they are both deleted when you click Generate. Edge Repair looks for small edges. In the Details view, you can see the maximum edge length limit for this model. If there is an edge you do not want to repair, in the Repair Method drop-down, select Do Not Repair. You can also specify the repair method. There are various options where methods can be selected. Click to generate. In the places where the repair merged edges together, you can see an edge. In the places where the edges were pinched together, a vertex will be shown. This concludes this demonstration of how to clean and repair geometry models using Design Modeler. Mm -hmm.